live from Studio 6B in the Fimple Jamont Recreational Center for the Fashionably Exasperated, it's Prank Funkle Live. And now, join us for lots of prank phone calls. <laughs> prank Funkles. Welcome. Mike's here, did you hear? Welcome to the show. Hello. We just lost a viewer yeah. by starting the show. We had eight people waiting, and then we had seven. Now we just lost another one. Six people are not a fa people were more of a fan when the show wasn't happening than they are. Oh no, they came back, back to seven. Okay, well let's not start doing this. Tom Petty is uh, pretty content with his purchase of a lot of carbs at the uh, IGA, International Grocers Association. You see that? He does look very happy. Well, he hasn't yet spilled coffee on his jeans, so... Is that a carpeted grocery mart? Ah, uh, it looks like it has those tile, those uh, stick down linoleum tiles that look like peas and carrots, maybe, and cigarette butts. I, I'm sure you remember, Mike. We're we're old enough to remember, and we were just talking about grocery stores off the air a little bit. Yes. Uh, you remember there being ashtrays and like. In addition to that, there would just be cigarette butts on the floor, because, like, eh, can't get me or Norma can't go shopping for groceries without constantly chain-smoking the whole time, eh? And just throw them on the floor and step on them. Yeah. Yes, I do. <clears throat> I went somewhere the other night and saw ashtrays at a restaurant <laughs> and thought that was pretty strange to see. Might I ask? Might I ask? Well, of course, you're in Oklahoma, so... Yeah. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but still. So, is it... Can you talk about where it was? What restaurant? Or is that not for the air? Um... Yes, it's the... It was a... It's a fancy restaurant. Uh, does it start with a C? No. It's got, called the Metro. Oh, okay. Ah, is it the diner? No, it wasn't a, it's not a diner. No, it's a steakhouse. Huh. Yeah. Well, aren't you fancy now? Right, yeah. So it's probably like a Kevin's Dad kind of place. There used to be... Yeah, it's an old school place. Okay, so that's what it is. So there used to be Eddie's Steakhouse. Did you ever eat there? No, I don't think so. Okay, so it's like a Lebanese... Steakhouse it went out of business in Oklahoma City. There was also one in Tulsa, and I'm not sure if it's still there or not. But it was a deal where they would bring out courses. It was very like fancy, but also just you know, Mad Men, old school. Yeah. You know, martinis and yeah. ashtrays and shit. They'd bring out like a salad maybe, and then they'd bring out tabbouleh. You know, like one thing at a time, and then you'd get oh, and they had like uh, cabbage rolls, which I loved and still do. Uh, and then you know, eventually you'd get your steak or whatever the fuck you order, like kebab or whatever. But uh, the one in Tulsa that was still there, and I didn't know about it for a long time. So the one in Oklahoma City was off of like. Out of uh, Meridian, uh, shit, uh, Patrick wouldn't remember, like 50th and Rockwell or 50th and Meridian or something. Yeah. It's kind of in a weird place where you wouldn't, you it was you didn't just notice it from the street. It was almost like not very advertised. It was just a place where Kevin's dad type guys went, you know. Yeah. Cattlemen's is along those lines, right. which is still there, but I guess there's. 
big wait list to eat there because it's so it's popular. It's busy, yeah. It's, yeah, it stays packed. Very, very conservative, I would say. Uh, anyway, the one in Tulsa was like even more hidden, kind of. Like just in this random spot. And I. The only reason I knew about it is Richard, RAP. Former, uh, you know, if it, it uh, participant on Pran Funkles, if if he were still with us, he would still would be participating. I'm sure. Well, he is spiritually, but anyway, he told me about like, oh, I went to this Eddie's Steakhouse, and then I saw it, and it looked just like the one. It was definitely like the same people or the within the chain. How however small or large I don't know I've never investigated really Eddie's Steakhouse but and it's spelled E-D-D-Y which is odd but yeah. maybe that's because they're Lebanese or whatever Lebanese or Scrooge uh, anyway the funny part about it is Richard ate there just to like to see what the fuck it was about and told me about it and I was like yeah that's the same thing that they had in Oklahoma City but what's funny is they had a picture on the wall. I don't know if they had mul- like a lot of pictures of celebrities who had eaten there. But take a wild guess who the one that Richard saw the picture of the celebrity that had eaten at the Eddie's Steakhouse in Tulsa. Take a guess, Mike. <laughs> uh, David Cross. Now... <laughs> A lot more conservative than that. Is it a political person? Not particularly, no. Uh, so, someone I've mentioned on the show already. <laughs> Multiple times. The Kevin's dad? Dan Loria, yes. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> like Dan Loria from the, from the Wondies <laughs> was in Tulsa and was like, Eh, hey, I gotta see what this Eddie's place at. How are the martinis there? Hey, can I smoke my fucking cigar while they... <laughs> Well, they bring out my tabbouleh day. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ever had uh, tabbouleh? I have not, no. You should try it. Probably won't. I like I like what it a lot. It? It's, uh... You ever had couscous? Yes. It's kind of like that. I don't know. It might be made out of... Or maybe it's barley it's made out of, mainly, but... Okay. It's like... It's hard to explain... And it's if I explain it, it's not going to sound good. Right. But I like it. But I like a lot of things. You, do you not like tomatoes? I do not. Okay. Well, you might not like tabbouleh. Yeah. I think there are bits of tomato in it. Hmm. I'll be damned. Probably not. Uh, here for the comments brings up Jamil's Steakhouse. It's a good place. I've never eaten at those, but that's another one that's probably along the same lines. They had... I, I'm i not sure if there's still one. Same thing. Like I'm not sure if the one in Tulsa is still open. I know that. I'm pretty sure the one in the city still is. So they, there still is one in Oklahoma City? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. Well, anyway... Yeah. I'm not sure how we got onto that. I don't know. Steak sounds good, though. Yeah, 16-ounce steak. I don't think Tom Petty has any steak in his basket. Yeah, he's got the Wonder Bread years there. Looks Let's like make it full screen here. Yeah, he's got some Little Debbie's. Got a lot of little Debbie stuff. He's got some Thousand Island wishbone. <sighs> Is that Quaker oats behind the wishbone dressing there? Mm, kind of looks like it. What does that say? I wish I could zoom in more. Mm. This is our avatar supplied by Kira, by the way. Uh, it looks like some paper towels. Charmin brand paper towel. Maybe that. Oh, that's probably just toilet paper. Okay, looks like it says Charmin. 
uh, Velveeta single slices there. Or some, it could be Velveeta mac and cheese. In the upper part? Yeah, maybe. I, I think that's single and slices. Cheese, yeah, you brought it right. And then there's uh, either orange juice or coffee creamer bottle there in the cart. Uh, some kind of Mickey Mouse shit. <laughs> or as my dad would say, Mickey Mouse bullshit. What kind of Mickey Mouse bullshit operation is this? <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show. I think we've covered all the IGA purchases that Mr. Petty has made. International Grocers Association. <laughs> oh. The BB's in the chat. He was uh, posting on our Discord a picture of Wendy's chili at the grocery store. Have you seen that, Mike? No. Uh, <clears throat> I believe I have seen that. Have you, uh, are you a fan of Wendy's Chili? I used to be. I haven't had it in quite a while. There's not a very, there's not a good Wendy's nowhere near me anymore. I've had it, uh, once or twice in recent months. There was a, oh, that's a, a bit of a news flash. I did find maybe... Well, yes, I did find there. I found a good Wendy's location. And then it's not, not very close to me, but it's not too far away. But if I'm in that area, I will stop there maybe. But if I'm gonna stop at Wendy's, I usually get chili. It's like a one Michelin star. Yeah. <laughs> it's a well, the Michelin. Let's put it this way: some people who looked like the Michelin man were eating there. So, does that make any sense? So, have you tried the chili from the can? No, and I don't think I want to. No? I did see a review of it online that was not great. It was just like it, that it tasted like chili out of a can, you know, basically, which is uh, what I suspect. It looks like here for the comments has tried it. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot like Chef Boyardee. Boyardee. That was a weird way of me pronouncing that. Beware. It's like Chef BRB. No, uh, yeah, there's something about, you know, the canning process or, like, the shit that they put in it to preserve it. Where... Yeah, because the chili from the restaurant, like, they put pieces of the hamburger patties in it and shit. Right? Yeah, th that moish fell on the floor. Yes, that's what... <laughs> kids used to always watch, watch, no don't ever eat chili from Wendy's it's a pieces of hamburger that fell on the floor watch, 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 watch. <laughs> so if they don't drop any hamburgers that day then they just don't have chili I always wondered that too now there's got to be a protocol because you don't I mean it's always rich and meaty as Joe Sarola right. has let us know <laughs> but it is in the training video with all the wrapping and shit that if you break a patty then you put it aside for the chili which is a little bit different than drop a patty on the floor you know yeah it's a little different did you hear that when you were coming up no I, I always heard like there was a thing maybe it's just where I grew up specifically which was not far from where you grew up but yeah there's always like kids that are like don't ever get chili at Wendy's it's the meat that fell on the floor <laughs> And I always thought, ah, that sounds like bullshit. Yeah, probably bullshit. So yeah, uh, here for the comments was saying it's like Chef already I said that weird again. Uh, but yes, yeah, like anything canned has a very, like, soup and stuff like that. There's always a specific flavor it has. Like, there's got to be something that they add to it or some chemical thing going on where it does always, like, smell and taste... Similar. The same, yeah. yeah, and I don't dislike it, probably because I grew up right. eating shit out of cans a lot. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, I think I mentioned this recently on the show. We, I was, I grew up poor for a while, 
I had the I had the uh, ex- the privilege of experiencing it, growing up with money and then also being poor <laughs> uh, to the extent of couldn't pay the electric bill and for I don't know how many months in a row we were uh, our next door neighbors that were friendly let us run an extension cord so that we could like watch TV for a while in the evenings um, which is you know highly illegal the <laughs> electric company doesn't want you doing that but how else are you going to watch electric company you know <laughs> starring Morgan Freeman Rita Moreno okay yeah so Uh, yeah, I got a lot of chat activity going on. Love you a lot. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, I went to a Wendy's and had a good experience. There were, uh, the lady at the in the drive-thru was, uh, older and pleasant. It seemed like she, uh, didn't hate herself or her job. Uh... The rare condition. Yeah, um, yeah. It was a good experience. I'll, I, I'll I'll go back to that Wendy's. You know, just uh, unfortunately, it's not very close to my house, but it's a rare condition in this day and age. <laughs> hey, want to make some pran funkles? Yeah, could do that. Got a list from Kira, and I got the marker board to keep track of who we've called and who we should call back if I make a note who's naughty or nice yeah I have a feeling we're gonna experience a lot of naughtiness (laughs) now I just need to pull up that list oh there it is okay well first in the list no, you weren't on last week, Mike. This is a guy that... He's he's in a recent upload that Kira did. And he's from an episode in 2016. Uh, he's a lawn guy. And it's unable to comprehend spoken words is the name of the call upload. <laughs> And I called him last week, and he was, like, assumed that I was the Uber driver that he was waiting for. And he was outside a bar in Tulsa. (laughs) So I just fucked with him quite a bit. And he never didn't think that I was the Uber driver, no matter what I said. I was, I think I was Grandpa. And then he was, like, you know, shit-faced, and he was, like, Hey man, I'm not trying to start any shit, man. What's go? Hey man, just and a, yeah. He was just like one of those drunks that I would ask him like a direct question, and he's like, "Hey man, hey, I'm just not trying to start anything here, man." And I was like, <laughs> "Anyway, you want to call him?" Did he sound like Boomhauer? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. He he didn't sound that intelligent. No. <laughs> I might have to tell you what that dang old lady did. That'd be fun. Let's so talk about. I was talking about King of the Hill with somebody today about how they were gonna make new episodes, but I guess they're not now because too many people died, including our Avatar. Lucky. And his wife. Well, let's not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's not talk about people dying too much. Yeah. Let's uh, let's call this guy. You ready? Who's talking to him? Uh, you want to do a soundboard? All right. Okay. You got one picked out. This is oh. Philip's wife. <laughs> okay. Here we go. First call of the night, print files. to an automatic voice message system. No. Okay. I can't hear you. 
we're gonna do star six seven because he might have blocked us based on last week answer the phone sounds like he did Hey. Hello. Hello. This is Philip's wife. Philip's. Who's on the phone? I don't know. Uh, I got no caller ID. Somebody by the name of Ralph is on the phone. He sounds like he's drunk. Oh, shoot. Tell him to have a good one. I can't hear you. What's the time for? It's been a while since we heard that. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Answer the phone. Oh, we were so sorry. Um, could call him from a different number. Oh, maybe we let's wait and do that later. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, number two in the list. I have to go urinate, so I'm going to dial this and then step away. This is a billboard with a number on it that we called last week, and the guy was a fucking asshole. So here we go. Hello? You've reached the home of Ray and Lana. Hello. Please leave your message after the tone. Hello. Hello. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. And Cody isn't back yet. And of course, I don't have anything to play for you or anything interesting to talk about. Hmm. Nothing going on in the chat. Thank y'all for being here. Eh, well, what happened? I went to voicemail. It was a bunch of nothing. Nah, well, let's give him a call back. Did it was it an STV? Say what? Was it an STV? I'm not sure. Straight to voicemail? No, not straight to it. This is what we got. You reached the home of Ray and Lana Crane. Please. Let's get one more call back. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has oh, not been set up before. yet. Please try your call again. Yeah, so you call back, and the answering machine is, like, on the line still, so then it goes to a voicemail. And I think I called back, and the guy answered last time after that.
You've reached the home of Ray and Lana. Hello. Please leave your message after the tone. Hello. Michael? Michael? not fast enough with that <laughs> yeah so last week I think I was like leaving him there he was starting to record a message and the guy picked up because it's an answering machine you know <laughs> are you there I do I do did you hear it hang up yeah oh, okay yes, I think so yeah, it was definitely an anal boo situation. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> ah, I got, uh... Bite high and I love it in the chat. Love you a lot. How you doing? Hello. Yeah, hey, good to see you. Keep going in the list here. Hey, what do we got now? Let's see, I gotta click the right thing. There it is. Oh, okay. Number three on the list. Some of you have heard of this guy. Mike, I think you've heard of this guy. Toby. You ready? Toby? Toby. The Toby? Yep, Toby 1.0. Alright. You got a soundboard you want to use? That'd probably be better than me talking. Address me by name Ryan. Has he talked to Ryan before, do you know? No, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. We can talk to anybody. Yeah, let's give him a turn. What's going on? That you know my name. I'm, I assume What's that, that you know my name. I get prank calls. Well, what I, I thought it was for Atlantic Records. Do you have a record contract? Please. What? What? Yeah, speak up. We're sp speak up. We're loud. We're deaf musicians. I, I, I'm I'm very disturbed. Okay. With what? Cry to, somebody. Cry to somebody else. You're breaking up a little bit. So are you. Somebody from this number called me. You mentioned somebody's name, Dee Dee. Yeah, we fired that guy. I don't know why you would call me. I don't know why you called me. I believe you don't know who you're calling. And I don't believe you don't know who you're fucking with. Trying to sell me bullshit and things like that. So. 
Yeah, sure am. I'm busted. But I definitely did not call you from this number. Well, I didn't call you from this number, so now we're even. I'm, I assume that you know my name. Do you know mine? Mine. Try again. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking I mean, about? Run, run, run. I mean, that's my middle what name, but you know, I don't really go by that. You, it wasn't me that fucking called you. You can call it your mom. It wasn't me that fucking out. called you, Huffy, Mr. Huffy Pants. You can get over it and figure something out. Figure it out. Hang up if you don't want to talk, motherfucker. You can call Frank your mom calls. and cry about it. What, motherfucker? You can call your mom and cry about it. Uh, you're continuing this conversation. You're the ones crying about it. I'm not sure what this is all about. Anyway. you It wasn't me that fucking called you. I... Apparently, you t- you called me just now. You t- I'm talking to you. I'm telling you that, okay? I'm a good person. Very proud of you. Not trying to harass you of any sort. Oh, shit. No, I'm, I'm leading away. My- I have no idea who this person is. I did not <laughs> leave you a dirty message. I didn't say you did. Okay. Great. I got cool. prank. I every so often I get a prank call or something. I'm going to tell what you right now, it wasn't me. I know. Have a good night. Leave me alone. Then hang up, motherfucker. So I'm going to hang up with you and block your number. Good. Go for it. PhD, a doctor. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm ditto. I have no idea what you're talking about. Maybe if there was a, a cell phone clone number of mine or something. Maybe. One more second. <laughs> Oh my god. What? What? Man, you've got nothing better to do than continue this conversation. That's pretty sad. What? Yeah. You're breaking up a little bit. I said it's pretty fucking sad that you have to continue this conversation. You won't hang up. That's about three times in the middle of the night last night. Well, I don't don't want to tell you. Please don't call me anymore. If you have an iPhone or something, then go ahead and just block my cell phone number. And I'll I'll be happy to block you. Block mine. How about that? Cry to somebody else. Pretty simple, dude. Black mine. Right at somebody else. I'm not going to listen to you right now. Yeah, it sounded like Toby was driving drunk there or about to. <laughs> He's on fire tonight. As, yeah, he's definitely drunk. <laughs> Yeah, he was very chatty tonight. That was a rare condition this day and age. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, I'm leading the way. So, like, he's obviously driving somewhere and somebody's following him. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> that's more than we usually get out of him. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right, well move on number four in the list you ready for this yes this is Toby 3.0 oh the other Toby who's still alive 
uh, do you want to do this or you, should I do it? You can if you want. I don't care. Look forward. Okay. You have anything in mind? Uh, maybe use Larry on him. You do it. Okay. If he answers. playing pocket pool with his phone there. Pocket pinball. <laughs> what Bit of a... that? <laughs> sounded like he was... He fell asleep watching an episode of Quincy M.E. <laughs> hmm. I think we should give him a call back there. Here's the pump for the condensation there. Hello? How are you? Really? Terrible. Caller ID says Hatch, New Mexico is calling me. Uh, I'm not calling anybody. <laughs> Sir? Somebody's spoofing the number. Well, my my phone rang, and, and it was you. Um, I didn't make an outgoing call. There's a phone ring, and I answered it. <laughs> hmm. Sounds well, like somebody's spoofing maybe, maybe the number. things are funny in the Mesilla Valley today. Do what? Well, may, maybe things are funny in the Mesilla Valley today. Well. All right. You, you, you've already said pretty much all of this, ma'am. How are you? Uh, what, what, is this Carl? What? Uh, say again <laughs> uh, I fucking I fucking love when Larry asks people how are you <laughs> <laughs> it's so condescending yeah, it's pretty fun <laughs> alright <laughs> eh, let's move on yeah that's good. We've got more of a reaction out of him than we usually do, too. Nice. Number five in the list. Oh, someone's in the chat. Angry Music Bones in the chat, but also, who else? Hey, do you see Burger King? Correct Mundo A. Check out Bite High No Limit podcast. It's a good one. Good to have you in the chat, Carlos. Number five in the list. <laughs> this is Neat Pete. Neat Pete. Neat Pete. Can't kind of neat Pete. Uh, 
I'll do, I'll, I'll do it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Should I do star six seven? Yeah. De 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 de. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system four zero. He did bring a hat. <laughs> well, you missed the Labor Day special, Mike. Brought a hat. He did bring a hat. Wait a minute. He forgot to bring Your call anything. Has been with him. Was that calling? <sighs> okay. Well, it's another fucking copy and paste error. We were calling Toby 3.0 back when I didn't intend to. God damn it. I don't... God damn it. Yeah. Why was copy and paste more... Uh, more trustworthy using a Commodore computer than it is on a Windows? Like, you can't... You can't trust it now for some reason? It's fucking weird. There's a reason these words have to be cut precisely. Let's call Neat Pete for real now. Maybe. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Oh. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you... Yeah, let's call him back. I think we had phantom ringing there. It says it's going, but we don't hear anything ringing. Oh, now we hear ringing. <laughs> Wendy's Gilly. It's in my veins. Hi, I'm unable to answer the oh, this time, but you could you leave me the name, your number, and a brief message, and I will get back to you. Thank you. Why is this a different... At the tone, please record your message. Is that a different when you have finished recording, voicemail than we just hang up yeah. or press 1 for more options. Yeah, let's call one more time. So we got two different voicemails? Yeah, I think so. That's odd. But maybe it was forwarded to a different. I'm gonna get phantom ringing again. Or it's just very slow. I'm unable to answer the phone at this time, but you could be leaving your name, your number, and a brief message, and I will get back to you. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, this message is for Crust Virginson. Your sandwich has been applied to the desktop. Uh, code 43... B-17 is the correct number. Um, anything to add, Stu? Stuart, are you on? If you are satisfied with your message, <laughs> press 1 okay. to listen to your message. <laughs> press 2 to re-read and re-record. Press message review. Hi, this message is for Crest Virginson. Your sandwich has been applied to the desktop. Um... Uh, Code 43B17 is the correct number. Um, anything to add, Steve? 
If you are satisfied with your message, <laughs> okay. press 1 to listen to I your message. To press 2 to, to send your message with normal delivery. Press 1 hmm. to send your message with urgent delivery. Press 2. Thank you. Your message has been sent. Goodbye. Hey? Mike? There you go. <laughs> okay, this one we're most likely gonna get an answer on. Number six in the list. Chuck FM. Very loud. Thank you for your call today. All of our representatives are currently busy with other customers. Please continue <laughs> to hold and one of our representatives will be with you shortly. Thank you for your call today. All of our representatives are currently busy with other customers. I'm sorry, the number you have dialed is currently inactive. Please check the number uh. and try again. Oh, uh, I thought your representatives were busy. I didn't... I didn't know the number was inactive. What? What the fuck happened there? It didn't like me singing the Donahue hold music that it was about to play? Thank you for your call today. All of our representatives are currently busy with other customers. Please continue to hold and one of our representatives will be with you short. Thank you for your call today. All of our representatives are currently busy with other customers. Do you have a stone? Please continue to hold and one of our representatives... Thank you for choosing your lips. This is Marina. Who am I speaking with today? Hey. Hello. Hi. David. Hi, David. I'd like to remind you the call will be recorded for quality purposes, okay? Uh -huh. Perfect. And to make sure that the ellipse is available in your area, may I please have your zip code? 67200. Five seven two zero zero. Uh, six seven two zero zero. Paddle bottoms. Oh. Oh, okay. Minnesota. Thank you very much for. I'm sorry. It's uh, Paddle Bottoms, Minnesota, is the hometown. Okay, David, thank you very much for that information. And while the system is loading, may I ask, are you calling for yourself or for a loved one today? As for Martha, I'll put her on the phone. Hang on a second. Martha? Oh, Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm sorry, who am I speaking with? I beg your pardon? Who am I speaking with, I'm sorry? My name is Theo. Oh, hi, miss. Uh, this is Marina with Ellipse, uh, with the Ellipse order line. I'd like to remind you the call is being recorded for quality assurance, okay? That's quite all right. Excellent, thank you. And to ensure proper handling, this here. call may be recorded. Oh, thank you. So, okay, may I please have I your zip code? You. I'm sorry? I beg your pardon? May I please have your zip code to make sure we ship to your area? 57714. Excellent, thank you very much. It's in the Grease Spot, Minnesota. Um, Gladstone? Yes, Gladstone. Thank you for that information. I see. 
Thank Personal you for that information. Grade, well, if it's loading, 11. may I ask? Go ahead. That's an icy drink from 7-Eleven. Uh. Yes. Okay, and may I ask, have you been looking to get more active or have you been experiencing any cramps or tingling in your legs? Yes. I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, how long uh. have you been dealing with this or have you tried anything to help you in the past? I'm tingling in my scrotum. Uh. Oh, is there something there? I'm sorry? Ralph. I'm sorry? Ralph. Something about Billy Joel? I didn't get that. It's breaking up. Uh, what did you say? I'm sorry? Are you calling about something about Billy Joel? No, this is an order line for an elliptical. Okay. There's a Breaking Up song written by William Joel. I see. From 7-Eleven. Okay. May I have Are your you name, calling? please? May I have your Are name, you calling please? This is Marina. Are you calling to order a seated elliptical? Yes. Please. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'll be more than happy to assist you. Uh, so the ellipsis is the elliptical that uses continuous automatic leg movement with power assisted pedaling to give you a smooth and comfortable ride, which can help you soothe pain and promote health circulation as well as diminish leg and foot discomfort and improve your mobility. Now, this model is designed for people who are already active and can walk and assist it for more than 30 minutes, but it's a still passive exercise just with higher levels of movement from the comfort of your own home. So when you order today, you are automatically upgraded to the Ellipse Deluxe Bundle, which is a $100 value, yours free. It comes with a faster motor that allows you to do up to five miles per hour, a built-in okay. step counter, a non-slip mat, wireless remote that conveniently stores in your unit, our 60-day money-back guarantee, and a full one-year warranty, as well as free shipping for just $249. Thank you, pardon. Hello. Turn that off, Jeffrey. Doing a phone I'm sorry? Call. My son turned on the radio for a minute. I'm sorry. Ralph. Please stop playing with the line. <laughs> That's a new one. Damn. <laughs> You want to isolate that one? <laughs> That's a prank prank, but in a different way. Yeah. Let me see if I got that. Yeah. I'm playing with my line, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's liver spotted. Uh. Sounds like I'm in a bathroom. Hmm. Is that coming off your TV? No, off the, uh, the computer. Uh, how many computers are you using tonight? Tonight I'm using three. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, my, 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 I've got three computers. Three computers. So, if you're using one to talk on, is that right? Or, actually, no, I'm using two right now, and then oh. a phone to talk on. But at times, you're using three computers and a phone? I will use three if I have to make a, a soundboard to find uh, okay. something. These are the links that we go to to provide you such great content on Pranfuckle's channel. If you'd like to support us, for all the time and effort we put into this. Believe it or not, we do put time and effort into this, especially Kira, who's not on the show right now, but still 
doing a, a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Uh, we got a Patreon link and a PayPal link in the description here. And we appreciate it. A little bit later, we'll be thanking the Patreons that we have. Or do you want to do that now, Mike? Oh. Hold on. Let's, uh, not let's do it yet. A, little bit, a little bit later. Yeah, not quite yet. I'm trying to see if I can isolate this and make it sound decent. Let's see. Stop playing with the line. Yeah. Yeah. Please stop playing with the line. She was very nice. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Hey, right, let's move on. Oh, sorry about that. Do you think if we called Toby back later, he'd be even more drunk? <laughs> Wait till closing time. Do a self call and say, "Are you drunk?" <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. Alright, number... seven... in the list. I'm making a note on the marker board. Folks, uh, just to update you, I am using the marker board and uh, it's helping with efficiency, I think, on the show. Number seven on the list. You ready for this, Mike? Yeah, I think so. Goober Gary, we're going to call. Goober Gary. Goober <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Mind the legs of the region. Leave your message for Texas. Gary Morakami. God damn it. God damn it. I got two pieces of bread and a bikini loaf. Uh, celery. Fucking sucks. Liquefied celery spread and um, Put it on a nacho in my pocket. But he did bring a hat. It is for sale. How much? Perez. Two dollars and forty-nine cents. What happened to my voice? What was that? Where's the hammer? To replay your message, press 1. Oh, to continue God, recording, never, press 2. Listen. To delete and re-record. God, mm. God damn it. I got two pieces of bread and a bikini loaf. Uh, celery. Oh, fucking sucks. Liquefied celery spread and um, put it on the nacho in my pockets. But he did bring a hat. It is for sale. How much? Perez. Two dollars and forty nine cents. What happened to my voice? What was that? Where's the hammer? To replay your message, press one. Okay, to continue that was one of the recording, messages press two. We were left. To delete and re-record your message, press three. I'm gonna have For to ask you. Options, I'm sorry, but to four. isolate that to send weird a fax, throat press six. thing that to happened there. To cancel this there. message, 
Press star. <laughs> to send this message now, press pound I'm or I'm working hang on up. that two voice or three voice, hopefully, muscle. The, con the control. To replay your message, press one. Throat, to continue apparently. recording, press two. To delete and re-record your message, your jokes, press three. Second day. For delivery options. Okay, I'm just going to hang up. <laughs> I'll have to find it. <laughs> well, that reminds me, I need to step away for a second. Do you want to... You want me to dial a number? Oh, uh, Mike's busy doing the, trying to find the Lord's work. Well, I know, I appreciate it. Alright, uh... Let's take a look at our list here. That was Goober Gary, was it? How many times did I call him? Let's take a look. Mike, do you remember? Uh, just once? Oh, well, let's call him back. Your tongue. Please leave your message for Gary Moraka. Origami. Okay, hang on, let me mute. No, it was before that when I was saying I wasn't even trying to do it, but I was set up said some words and it Two, I two voiced accidentally, and it was really. Let me go back a little bit. Which is what I was like impersonating when I did that noise, yeah. You can't even hear it here. Let me mute. Two dollars and forty nine cents. What happened to my voice? Yeah. Uh, can you go back to when I was actually leaving the message? Or is that... Is it too late? I don't know. We don't have to do this celery. live on the... Liquefied celery spread. Does that sound good? Hello? What happened to my voice? What was that? Where's the hammer? Go back. You're listening to live editing. Perez. Two dollars and forty nine cents. What happened to my voice? <laughs> there we go. There's the new drop. What happened to my voice? I think a goblin was escaping my mouth when I said that. Like one of the from the arcade artwork for Ghosts and Goblins. That's some kind of colored cloud blobby goblins floating around. That's what I picture when I hear that noise that came out of my throat while I was talking there. Well, let's move on. Two dollars and forty-nine cents. What happened to my voice? <laughs> Grandpa marked off one penny from what he usually says. He's usually obsessed with two dollars and fifty cent chicken sandwich or whatever it is it's always two dollars and fifty cents are you eating some nutter butters Mike 
No. Vad är det? Nej. Trisket. Ja, alltså att det var pepper and olive oil. Ja, det är det. Ja, det är det. Ja, det är det. Är det det vi pratade om på den här showen? Briar's Place till nu? Vi kanske har diskuterat det. Det är en god flavor. Det är en som jag har varit med på en tid. Jag gillar den rosemary och... Oh, vad är det? Bright apricot and rosemary and sun-dried tomato flavored uh, triscuits, honey. That's the one. It reminds me of my prize roses that got trampled by that Bridges boy's geese. <laughs> Tis the season in a couple of months, honey, for Thanksgiving promises. Almost there. Oh, uh, Maybe I should do a prank call. I don't think you should. That would be fun. Here's number eight in the list, and it's for a product. Here we go. Try my product. How much for me for you to send it to me? Thank you for calling Plexiderm Skincare. My name is Yen. This call is being recorded for quality assurance. Did you see your product on television today? Uh huh. That's great. So now it will just take a minute to pull up the $14.95 trial promotion here in my system. While we're waiting, you're calling at a great time because today you'll get our six application trial pack uh. $14.95 with free shipping and processing. So in less than 10 minutes, Lexiderm will drastically reduce the look of under eye bags, fine lines, and wrinkles. Mm. It even helps lighten the appearance of dark circles under the eyes as well. And Can you speak up, huh? It's kind of hard to hear you. All right, I'm sorry, but our trial is a one-time purchase, no membership or subscription, which means if you love it, you can reorder whenever you would like. To get you started, may please have your full name that appears on the card. Helen. Helen. Mm hmm Last name. Brittle. B R I D D E L. B R I B. Uh huh. Hello. Yes. What's your last name, please? Bribble. B R I B B E L. Okay, B R I B B E L. How about the billing address that is associated with the card? It's shaped like what? The billing address that is associated with the card, please. Uh, four thirty-six. McMuffin Boulevard, huh? It's a grunt munch address. If you, I don't know if that's an option you can click. City, state, and zip code. Garrison Keeler, Pennsylvania. Six one o. Zip. No, I'm sorry. One o six four three. Bellwater. <laughs> Alright, so as per check in here, there is no address exist. It's 436 and that's in Pennsylvania 10643. Garrison Keebler, Pennsylvania. Garrison. Keebler. Alright, so I really apologize. I did search. The address, but you didn't believe me what my address back. was. All 
right, so uh, can you spell? You, call, you don't think I know what my address name, is? Please? Beg can your you pardon. Help, can you help me spell your? Can you help me spell your street name? Yes. The all right. Can you help oh. me spell the street name? Yes. T e n d e r p o p c o r n Boulevard B l v d. All right, so as per check in here, there is no address. All right, so I believe we're not going to place orders, so I'll just connect the call. Thank you for calling back. Oh, God damn. I just wanted to place an order, hon. I know my own address, for Christ's sakes. Fizzles and popcorn. Budget tracks on my rectum, hun. I hope we can continue. Mm. Let's pretend like nothing happened, hun. Just go on with what we were doing. Please. What was that? Somebody on the line <coughs> fell asleep, hun. There's too much Madame Usel in my Campbell soup. <coughs> my son was watching some pornography of Festus from Gunsmoke, and I just felt like I needed to call you. Okay, I accidentally hung up there. <laughs> she, she was not gonna hang up, no matter what I. I'm just listening. I wish I hadn't accidentally hung up because I thought maybe the gun smoke pornography would be enough to get her to hang up. Okay, I'm gonna step away for a second. Yeah, I need to go use the restroom. Okay. Yeah. In the meantime... But in the meantime, we're gonna go. I'm taking and you off the schedule. That's true, yes, that is part of it, yeah. Uh, oh, yes, that's right. I thought, yeah, I had something in mind. I think it was this. We'll be right back.
Obviously, I need to clean my trackpad. There's been a lot of late night snacking involving uh, oily foods. Wait, oily. Sorry about that, folks. Anyway, yeah, I need to. It's, this trackpad has gotten some heavy use with all the audio editing I do. Um, hopefully I don't need to buy a new trackpad, but if I do, I don't think it'll be that expensive. I replaced the one on my Mac laptop years ago. What I now would call early in the show's history, because I think it was like 2017 or 18. Which is, uh, you know, it's a long fucking time ago. We've been doing this a long fucking time. And, uh, we're still having fun, and you're still the one. Anybody still in the chat? Looks like there's some people. Bite high, no limit. How's that hotel treating you? Are you on a, on a holiday, as they say? Mike, are you back yet? No? Okay. Well, let's make another call. No. No. <laughs> no. Number nine in the list. I'm at the hotel. Have you heard that? John Lennon saying number nine backwards on that Satanic Beatles album. No. There's that one part where he says Paul's deceased. Okay. And here we go. Number nine. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Shift V is not control V. Control V Wade. It says it's calling, but we're not hearing any ringing. Just to let you know, I'm not just sitting here doing nothing. By the way, by the way, when I was uh, doing that call earlier, I, there was probably a PTSD thing with the audience. Hello? Yeah, hello? Hey, what took you so long? Who is this? Dan? Is this John? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should hear what Christina had to say about you. It was Who? it was interesting to hear. Huh? Who is this? <laughs> oh, don't mess around with me. Did you hear what Christina said about you? <laughs> Go. Alright, here she is. Go ahead. Do you want me to hang up? Who is this? This is Philip's wife. The end of Somebody by the name of Ralph is on the phone. He sounds like he's drunk. Who are you looking for? I didn't dial anybody. I answered the phone. Who's Ralph? Okay, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to hang up now. Who do you think you're speaking to? I have no idea. Uh, who is this? Someone called me and I picked up my phone. Who's Ralph? I'm hanging up now. I'm blocking the number. Goodbye. Who's Ralph? 
I have no idea. I don't know who any of you are. Leave me alone. Answer the phone. Uh, I was, uh, I was, <laughs> I was laughing. Who's read the Inquisition about Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> Relentless Inquisition. <laughs> so that was Jinxed John. <laughs> Spelled with no H, by the way. Mm. Finally. Yeah, that guy was uh, fucking thoroughly confused. <laughs> for whatever reason, that's, those are the calls that make me laugh the most, usually. <laughs> when they just, like, they haven't figured out it's a prank call. They're just thoroughly fucking confused. <laughs> and then, who's Ralph? <laughs> it's just like out of nowhere, like nothing made any fucking sense that was being said to him. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy that so much. People like not understanding each other. Right. That's good shit. Okay. Well, needless to say, I'm a little bit high. So, things have gotten... That's good. ...fun. Uh, we're going to call number 10 in the list. Tonight's episode is brought to you by ta da da tang ta da yeah, that was a clip I used to play when Patrick would be on. It was the beginning of an episode of some random game show or some shit, and it was like, This episode is brought to you in part by Tatat. Like the video skipped right when he said Tang, so it was like, Tatang. <laughs> Where are you? And I wish I remember what the show was so I can look it up. But uh, it's been a year or two or more. Or four. Or less or more. Or Chester. Okay. Let's call this next one the last. Uh, I don't think it's a product number. Uh oh. I just heard the Mandel alarm. Everyone, battle your man stations. Station your man battles. Did 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 I stutter? somebody like handing him a new drumstick about every 40 seconds wearing that stick out there on that uh, rim thank you for holding that rim job. all of our representatives are busy we are eager to answer your call as soon as possible have you visited our website arthritisneepain.com you that guy's can find an overview like, of our services got his mouth open with his te teeth clenched when he's hitting that rim Picture a guy that looks kind of like Judge Reinhold gritting his teeth angrily hitting that side of that snare drum. Are you with me, Mike? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Doesn't it sound like he's violently hitting that? <laughs> and it's not merited, you know? Not at all. Not even close. Yeah. Might as well just be hitting the drum at this point. Yeah. You know, just go go balls out, bareback, no condom, just hit that snare. Oh, he listened. <laughs> yeah. He listened, thanks. <laughs> Hey, 
I didn't tell you to hit a tom. Or no, that was just a bass drum. I was like, Highly pitched up snare drum. A bunch of loosening them snares a little bit there. Starting to sound like a queer. I once went to a laundromat. And it was in a not great part of town. And uh, some local hoodlums some teens, maybe they were in their 20s, I don't know, uh, black gentleman started talking to me because I was sitting in the parking lot of this laundromat, <laughs> and I, I don't even remember what they asked me, but I just like, and they're, they're like, the one guy was like, you got a high ass voice. You <laughs> sound like a woman or something. It was just like, just telling it like it was. You got a high ass voice, man. Okay. Yeah, I think I. Just, uh, too much of too big of a fan of Joe Pesci, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> And that you know, when his head catches on fire in every movie. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that story while listening to that aggressive hold music. That was fun. Man, you need to lower your voice. Lower, yeah. Anyway, it became very clear to me that. They didn't. I didn't have the respect of them, you know. Yeah. Maybe that was part of him telling me that. Kind of hurts your street cred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, I was sitting in my vehicle in the parking lot of a laundromat, probably with my window down, so I was inviting that kind of interaction, probably. <laughs> Were you in your Impala? No. No. Okay. I, I did drive one for a bit. Do you remember that? Vaguely. Did I tell you about that? Did you know about that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting uh, experience. It wasn't mine. It was someone else's. But I was driving a older Impala for a while. Not... Not... Uh, classic. I don't think you could call it not that old, but the six four on switches. <laughs> nah, it it did it did go fast. I will say that. <laughs> it wasn't. I didn't have hydraulics going or anything. But uh, anyway, let's let's keep going. Dialing here. Angry Music Man says, LOL. What, what are you LOLing at, exactly? Is it my high-ass voice? <laughs> okay. This is a person we're going to call. A person who would not lend a hand when you told them you were drowning. Well, this sounds on par with the bona fide asshole. Who's always worth a call. Although, he, not really, because we never get a reaction. But let's call this horrible person instead. It's Marlene. Sorry, I can't answer. 
Um, wow. Want to call her back? Okay. Okay. That was a very boring stretch of rings that seemed like it wasn't even going to pay off with a voicemail and even, but uh, then it did. Thought we were going to have a case of voicemail blue balls for a minute there. Oh. Uh, hey, aloha. Oh. It's Marlene. And that Sorry, I can't answer right now, blue balls. but um, leave me a message oh. and I'll get back to you. Let's leave a message. Mahalo. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, um. Oh wow. Sensitive genital skin. Uh. Um. Okay. Okay. Now, um, um, sorry. <laughs> well, so, okay, let me guess on that, that, where you were going with that message. Was it supposed to sound like he was jacking off and then yeah. saying sensitive genital skin? <laughs> because it was now sensitive for being rubbed yeah. so much. And then he apologized. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was I, I'm not just high That is what was going on there Okay <laughs> that's, that's one of the creepier Voicemails we've ever left I think Yeah, probably <laughs> And then it was like The button pressing was turning them on or something <laughs> I was hoping you were going to keep doing that When I pressed buttons but... Oh, wow Wow God, that guy was so <laughs> fucking cre creepy, and the the avatar for him. The, yeah, I, it's, it's exactly what I think that guy looks like. <laughs> Did I wonder if Kira picked that out? <laughs> Probably. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> he looks like somebody from some sitcom. From the 80s or something. Me? <laughs> or like some guy from the local PBS, uh, some local guy from Oklahoma City, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know who I'm talking? Oh, I think it was, um, yeah, you probably don't remember. There was a Channel 4 news had, like, back in the 80s when there'd be like some gimmicky character that would be part of the lo at the end of the local news there'd be some wacky segment that was like sort of nonsensical do you remember that mm -hmm. I don't recall so channel 4 had a like this guy and he was Dr. Red, Dr. Red Duke and it was like a character that this guy was doing Dr. Red Duke Duke Red Duke. Uh, and I think that's kind of who I'm picturing. He was kind of goofy looking like the salesman. Uh, is that Salesman Ryan? Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> I think that's who I'm picturing that reminds me of. Or something. But he would just come on there and be like some weird medical condition that you should be worried about. But it was kind of like obviously tongue in cheek, you know. Mm -hmm. And they did a it was a sort of common thing I think on local news in the 80s it kind of got replaced with like the feel good news story about piglets or something at the end of the news you know to like this is not all bad here's this overly you know jovial is it this guy? -coated. yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow so he lived until 2015 he seemed very old in the 80s. <laughs> and, he, and he was. 
Yeah, he does look like Sullivan Rhines. Doesn't he? Yeah. So I would never have thought of that if I wasn't high. There, there's like, there's no fucking way I would have thought of that character. That's funny. And the only like, so the specific one that I remember because I remember like being a kid and watching it and being concerned. He did a news story about, and he like pulled up on a Ford in a Ford truck or something, and like had his elbow hanging out the window. And he's like, the whole story was like, don't drive around with your elbow bent, or or don't do any activity where you're just sitting with your elbow bent in the same position. And it was like a you know what a tennis elbow or whatever the fuck. What the fuck? But it was like. He made it sound like very. Like, don't go on a road trip. Scary and scary. So like, I, when I would see, like my dad or somebody would be doing that, and I'd be like, uh, don't do that. You're gonna get some weird medical condition that never goes away. That's scary. That's fucked up. So, uh, but also on SCTV, they had a parody of that exact thing, and it was John Candy as the fake doctor and that's exactly what it was it was like <laughs> the uh you know oh and then your and then your ear falls off and, and like every one of them was a and, and and it's like all these horrible symptoms and then the last thing is and, and, and then you die <laughs> <laughs> if you can picture john candy do it well there's i mean i could look up the clip but let's move on i was just like uh yeah, it was funny because like I think I'd seen the, the SCTV probably before the actual guy that it was you know those kind of guys that it was making fun of. Yeah. But he'd been you know John Candy with a very serious look on his face like you should be scared of these medical things that could happen to you and and, and then you die. Okay, <laughs> let's make another call. I'm sorry, I'm blabbing too much. No. Let's call a lawsuit place. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's Mogam Mogam. Morgan Morgan. <laughs> maybe it is. We'll find out. I don't think it is. I think it would say in the this notes. Call maybe record <laughs> quality assurance. You got me for a second. I thought that was... <laughs> Thank you for calling. All calls will be recorded for quality assurance purposes. A live team member will it be with you It is a guy with something in his cheeks. Thank you for calling about the Depo Provera lawsuit. This is Gina. Are you calling about a potential new case, returning one of our calls, or have you signed an agreement with our firm already? The woman talking in my ear was talking about the Labor Day special repeatedly. What's going on? There's a woman talking in my ear about something that has nothing to do with what we're doing here. Why don't I have sound? I think she seized up. I started with the wrong one. <laughs> I was a, that was amusing. That you're, it was bold, I thought, that you were going with that. Yeah, it was very bold. <laughs> oh, and I, w I would say it's a, it was effective. We just didn't hear the reaction. She went catatonic on us. <laughs> it just had nothing to say. All she could do was muster up the ability to hang the phone up. Yeah, I need to label these clips as to which one they're <laughs> screaming in and which one they're not. So you, what did you mean to play? <laughs> <laughs> this one. Talking in my ear about something right. that's nothing to do with what we're doing. <laughs> Have we, yeah, it's been a while. We haven't done calls with him as a soundboard in no. a while. Have we? Yeah, we no. should do. You want to call her back? Yeah, let's try again. Maybe tell her to stop the... <laughs> <laughs> she seems agitatable. Agitable? Ag ag agitable? 
Agitatable. Thank you for calling. Agitable. All calls will be recorded for quality assurance purposes. A live team member will be with you momentarily. Thank you for calling about the Devil Prevail lawsuit. This is Gina. Are you calling about a potential new case? Returning one of our calls, or have you signed an agreement with our firm? What that guy just said is absolutely right. What's going on? Jesus Christ. What's going on? Why am I losing this? Why don't I have sound? That was that. That was a different lady, <laughs> or was it the same I one? I think it's the same one. Oh, okay, so she, once again, yeah. she just just went catatonic. She don't want to play ball. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we rose her from her grave, and. Uh, she wants our brains now. <laughs> Rise from your grave. Okay, move on, you think? Yeah, I might move on for now. How you doing? Doing good. Well, I'm just going to keep getting higher. Keep getting higher. Because that's, uh, that's how the edibles work. Agita agitable, agitatable, agitable, vegetables, <laughs> huxtables, uh, I don't know, okay. <clears throat> Number 14 in the list. Your call has been forwarded uh, to an automated voice messaging system. Eight. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? Uh, 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 I have one, sir. <laughs> um, I own a hammer, as okay. any, any any household should. Multiple hammers. Ball. I got a ball peen. Uh, I've got a I've got a peen ball in my in my pants. I've got a a pickaxe and I got a um. Lid. They got a sledger, yeah, sledgematic from Gallagher. And I've got a um, uh, a, a rubber-headed mallet. Uh, I got a, a plastic-headed mallet. It's got two sides. One's well, it's one's rubber, one's plastic. I have an autographed hammer. Oh, oh yeah, is it <laughs> by the band Autograph? Yeah. <laughs> Autograph, yeah. Turn up the radio. Mm -hmm. I like the music. Give me some more. This is what Germans sound like. Right? Stop the hammer! <laughs> and Germans love David Hasselhoff there. Okay, wait a minute. No. I'm not sure if I called the... I might have skipped. I think I did. All right. We did... I think that was number 14 in the list. No? No, I didn't skip. That was... That was correct. That was 13. Let's try it again, though. Because I'm curious about... Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging... Okay. Fuck. Well, Fuck. That, that was... Control. Shit. <laughs> That was the person in charge of the Hinky Dinks, is who we were calling there. So I was curious, but no answer. Chase down Mr. Hinky Dink and dare to declare we're through being cool. Devo, ladies and gentlemen. Devo. Yes. Lyrics. There. Mr. The Hinky Dink. They were recently on Tiny Desk Concert. Ah, uh, that's... They've probably done that multiple times, haven't they? Probably so. Did you watch it? Yes. How did it go? 
pretty good. If you appreciate them, you'd appreciate mm -hmm. that. Do you know who um, BJ's favorite band member is of Devo? Who? Mark Mothers. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> Has been a praying fuckles funny. <laughs> Fuck it's out of control shit. <laughs> or should I say Mark Mothers dot 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 uh... <laughs> well, That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> I was looking for BJ's backup, and he's, I hear he's good at backing things up. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Make it out of real fucking horny. Uh. Mark Mothers. Uh. Mark Mothers. I'm going to need you to be a little bit quicker on the draw there, Mike. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> are you ready? Uh. Mark. Nah, nah. <laughs> False alarm. False start. On the offense. Ten yard penalty. That's the second time I've done a referee impersonation in the last few weeks. Uh, but also, keep it clean. So maybe I've done more than a few. <laughs> How many referee impersonations have I... Okay. Uh. Mark Mothers. Uh. <laughs> Mark Mothers. Uh. Okay, that's good. Wait, what are we doing again now? Uh. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing here? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, that's fun. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to number 14 <laughs> in the list. <laughs> uh, you could say that. That's one way to put it. No, no way. Uh. Thank you for calling Wright and Schulte LLC. Please what? press one to continue. What? What? What do you Thank need? you for calling. All calls will be recorded for quality assurance purposes. A live team member will be with what? you momentarily. So what process has been what? Calling the law office of Wright and Shetty. This is Kim. Are you calling in regards to our Ozempic advertisement? The what process has been what? Are you calling in regards to our Ozempic advertisement? Completely. How may I help you? For what? May I place you on a brief hold? I do not. One moment, please. Never. I do apologize. I place you on a brief hold. One moment. I'm here. for holding. Okay. Sir, are you still here? Uh-huh. Okay, this is a different person than I was speaking to earlier. Yes, ma'am. Uh, who's this? This is Kim. 
Are you calling, trying to call the law office of Wright and Shuddy? Yes, ma'am. Are you calling in regards to our Ozempic advertisement? Uh-huh. You sound unsure. Do what? You sound unsure. May I have your first name, but I will continue on. Okay. May I have your first name, please? What the hell is your name? I said my name was Kim. Who the fuck is this? I don't know who the hell you are. One moment, please. Uh Uh-huh. holding. Hey. Okay, now it's you again. Um, how can Completely. I help you all? That what process has been what? How can I help you all? Do you understand this? Yes, the I do. I said, thank you for calling the law office of Wright and Shuddy. This is Kim. Remember, right. you and I spoke earlier. Are you calling in regards to our Ozempic advertisement? Yeah. Yeah. May I have your first name? Completely. May I have your Gary? first name, sir? Gary? Gary? Yeah. G-A-R-Y? Yeah. And may I have the spelling of your last name? Never. Okay. I thank you for calling. You have a good night. I have a survey for you. Oh, this you got the wrong number for surveys. Thank you for calling. Have a good night. I work for Burger King. I have a burger for you. <laughs> uh, once again, she was thoroughly confused. <laughs> like, what the fuck was he talking about? <laughs> Completely. He had, I think he was coming off as like one of those weird, those people with something, there's something mentally wrong with them where they like say the same weird word <laughs> that's sort of in the wrong context over and over. Completely. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> like he's one of those types, you know. <laughs> Which does go along with the tone of his voice. Yeah. He's Nuttiness. Such, he's such a dick. A nutty asshole. And funny. Okay. I'm glad she stuck around to hear the survey comment. <laughs> <laughs> that was just so fucking weird, the whole thing. Like she put us on hold and just to go fuck around and and, and to notice the going back and forth and to call it out. <laughs> I, I mean, you were to the sheriff. Yeah. 
the weren't you doing the uh, crusty yeah yeah like before she put us on hold or was yeah. it yeah yeah i started off with him and then when she put us on hold i started fucking around with the uh, okay. sheriff and okay. i think she was listening while we were on hold and so she heard the sheriff <laughs> noticed it was somebody different so she picked up and yeah. tried to talk some sense into her <laughs> and she's just as nutty as his ass <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she put his back on hold, <laughs> and then I think when she heard you talking, is when she picked up again. Because <laughs> I said, "Should we hang up?" Yeah. Yeah, and I was literally about to. I was gonna comment that it went to that other generic or that other song that we hear all the time. Man. And by the way, YouTube, we get so many fucking copyright strikes or hits or whatever for yeah. like this fucking whole music now and and more and more also like songs from albums where they used a recording of a voicemail machine or mm -hmm. or like ringing or dialing it'll come up like you you played this song <laughs> it's really fucking stupid it's fucked up but we got a lot of them for that, like, various whole music shit now. It's pretty ridiculous. It's like, it just keeps getting worse. I mean, at least it's not affecting anything, usually. Yeah. But just the fact that it's happening, it's like, you know, it's, it's annoying. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's try to get through this list, eh? What? For what? We're done here. Are we? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> Completely never. <laughs> Completely never. All right, this is a person who has a side. <laughs> okay. You got a laugh out of me there, Kira. This is a person who has a sideways photo <laughs> as their only profile picture. <laughs> I'm blown through the popper stopper. That's how funny I thought that was. I'm actually probably too close to the microphone, but I'm also probably I'm being pretty quiet. So you know, I'm probably need to get close to the microphone. You know what I mean? Let's call this number. That, that's fitting. No whammy womlet because you came in here too late to get breakfast. That whammy burger. Ogle wall. Sheila, I think we have a critic. Hello. Hi, this is Darren. Oh, God damn it. Okay, let's get... Got that ringing again. Ah, that's annoying. There's like nothing... Like the timer starts that the call is going, but... You have to really be watching. Hello? Hi, this is Darren. I just had a quick yeah. question for you. Uh, I don't think you got the right number. I don't know any... Uh, well, I was just wondering why your profile picture is, uh, sideways. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. On, on the Facebook deal? <laughs> uh, am I, am I more entertained by this <laughs> than anyone else? No, I like it. <laughs> Uh, um, I, um, I don't know why it's so amusing to me. I'll ask him one more try.
Well, I had something funny to say, so of course he's not going to answer now. Hello, you have reached Terry Tolsmith, Fleet and Facilities Manager. <laughs> You've reached Terry's feet. Eat. All right, I guess we'll move on. Yeah. <laughs> now I shall turn you into a baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about the children's birthday party magician who appears on Ghouls and Ghosts, I assume. <laughs> that you get the treasure chests and like every so many of them, it's like this, what I just described comes out and plants a spell on you and you turn into something, you know? <laughs> Is that what Patrick was talking about? I have no idea. Because on one of them, it's a baby, and then on the Sega Genesis one, it's like uh, an old man with a cane you turn into. And then one of them, you turn into a frog, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. And that, <laughs> that's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. But yeah, like for a certain amount of time, you would turn into the, one of those things. And it was never anything good, you know. Oh, one of them here, it's a duck, and that might be the Sega Genesis one. Anyway. Yeah, it's uh, kind of interesting that that was, that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought it was very weird until just now. But, you know, I guess it's... The whole game is, uh, you gotta suspend your disbelief. Okay, well, let's go on to the next one. That's number 16. This is Mr. Uh, Tom Salsemeyer, PhD. Is that a request? Thank you so much Thanks for calling so. to purchase Vinia, the clinically proven blood flow superfood. Please stay on the line while we connect you to an agent. Thank you for calling Vinia. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. A representative will be with you in just a moment. Hi, this really? is Lassa. Are you calling today to learn more about how you can try Vinia, the red grape superfood, risk-free for 90 days? Yeah. I'm sorry? Uh, are you calling yeah. today to learn more about Vinia? Yeah. Are you calling yeah. about the coffee or the capsule? The capsule, eh? Due to a lack of a reasonable response, I'm Ooh, going to end this the call. Who's reasonable? I'm Tom Petty, eh? Yeah. Kind of like Norm MacDonald also. That's reasonable, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I was trying to do Tom Petty there. I don't know if you can tell. A little bit. Okay. I've put on that farty dress. What? What did you say? I said I got it. I knew what you were doing. I don't know if she did. Did you though? I did it. But at times I thought about going for uh, uh, Bob Dylan. It took me a minute to think of his name there. Hey. Okay. Um, you want to call her back? That's Call her back. And do you want to do it? Because I think I'm incapacitated. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be allowed to do prank calls right now. Because <laughs> they're not funny at all. You know why? Because I'm not a soundboard. Thank you so much for calling to purchase Vinia, the oh clinically proven blood flow superfood. Please stay on the line while we connect you to an agent. Yeah, Vinia, this call may be recorded for quality purposes. 
A representative will be with you in just a moment. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. Hi, this is Brenda. Are you calling today to learn more about how you can try Vinia, the red grape superfood risk-free for 90 days? Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Who is this? Again, are you calling today to learn more about how you can try Vinia, the red grape superfood risk, risk-free for 90 days? Yes. Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. So again, are you calling today to learn more about how you can try Vinia? The red grape superfood risk free for 90 days? Yes, that's what I said. Okay, and certainly I can help you with that. So, first, are you referring for the capsule or the coffee? Say that again. Are you referring for the capsule or the coffee? Capsule. Okay. And I just need to get some information from you so we can get your order right away. And so that I can Hi. address you better, may I you please have your complete name Hi. and will you spell it I for me? I had the phone turned upside down. <laughs> had it turned up. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. And uh, to better serve, you may have the spelling of your first and last name. John, J-O-H-N. Who's this? And how about your last name? Who's this? Oh, my name is Brenda. Are you calling today to so learn more about how you can drive Vinia, the red grape superfood risk-free for 90 days? And you've mentioned yes. you're interested about the capsule, right? That's what I said. What's your last name? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, but we cannot disclose any uh, further inf personal information. But my name is Brenda. Is your dad there? May I speak with him? I'm so sorry, sir. You're calling Vinya. Right. Is your dad there? I'm so sorry, sir. We're neighbors? Right. You live in Texas? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir, but I think uh, <laughs> you've dialed the wrong number. Hold on. Okay. And how's that family member doing? In Texas? I'm so sorry, sir, but I think you've dialed the wrong number. And you live in uh, Oklahoma. Due to the nature of this call, I may need to end the call now. You were just in Texas Thank the last time you called. Thank you so much for calling. Call. I hope you have a good day. Here, I'm going to have to talk to my wife. Bye. Here, I'm going to have you talk to my wife. Uh, she finally she took the cue from the Data East house band there. <laughs> she was thinking about it for a minute. I think that was the cue. That's when she knew. Okay, I can hang up. Yeah, fuck it. I just heard game over from Breakthrough. <laughs> One of the best game over songs I think of all time. Just my personal taste, you know. Do you think there's a better Game Over song, Mike? Mm. I kind of like that one. I mean, there was a lot. Mm. Yeah. I need to do an episode of that, actually. Just all Game Over music? <laughs> yeah, that, that'll be a pain in the ass, though, because they have to be, like, a shitload of really short songs, so I'd have to have, like, a hundred and some to fill up 90 minutes. 
Probably puts you in a bad mood, too. Yes, yeah. See, I did a uh, boss music episode. Yeah. Uh, and I will do another one, but I want to be more strategic about it. Because mm-hmm. that was maybe my least favorite. Because I listened back to it and it was like, this is kind of a lot of stressful music. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the opposite of the effect of, that I want to have. A lot uh, of bad memories come to that. <laughs> yeah, just anxiety that you're fighting a boss for 90 minutes. How's that sound? Although I didn't, all you know, as I didn't, they weren't all that, but there were a lot, you know. But, uh, anyway, mm. getting off the topic of pram funk lighting here. Uh, did we want to call back the guy from the beginning of the show, the, the, uh, Uber... Uh, we'd have to do it from a different number because he was blocking us, right? Uh, yeah. Or do you want to just keep going forward? You, I'm just following your lead. Well, I just gave you a twirl, or whatever you call that, with at the at the the high school dance. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, was that Venia that we called? Yes, I think it was. <laughs> was it? Um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, that, yes it was. Because the one before that was the uh, sideways profile picture. Yes. Uh, individual. Okay, so let's call number 17, the Taco Crusher. Oh, crusher. Sounds like something that you might call Bertha after she made what she would call one of the biggest mistakes of her life. Accidentally sat down on a taco. Nobody wants to do that, right? No. prefer to just eat the taco you see it's it says it's dialing we're not hearing ringing oh <laughs> oh your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system <laughs> is not available at the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Oh. Hi, Goldworth. Yeah. Peanut butter on my windshield, goddammit. Peanut butter. Piece of fucking shit. Oh. Get your goddamn peanut butter asshole off my fucking windshield. Wonderful. Ain't never gonna get that cleaned off. God damn it. I tried the goo gone and that didn't even fucking work. How do I get rid of your goo? Can you do that, please? How do you hang this fucker up? I'm sick of it all. Pushing the number. Yeah. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I was hoping to hear that back. Okay. Well. Next. Only with cookies out of my ass. Should we call him back? Was that. <laughs> was that was that twice? Let's oh. see. No, let's call him back. One, two. Nah. Again, not hearing it ring. Now. Oh. 
Um, Hello. Welcome to BT Mobile. Hello. Person who has called is not available at the moment. Please leave a message after the tone. When you finish recording, please hang up or press hash for more options. Well, that uh, wins the award for the quietest outgoing message ever. That was so faint that uh, I think I need to uh, give me them uh, smelling salts or something, you know. Well, we hope you get your gittle corn figured out. All right, we'll see you at Blockbuster. Oh, it hung up. I didn't. At least I think I didn't. All right, move on. You there, Mike? Yes. Let's see if we can't get an answer. Or, let's see if we can. It's number 18. Thank you for calling in for legal help. Someone will be with you in just a moment. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. Just a moment. Thank you for calling the Legal Health Center. Are you calling in regard to an injury matter? Hello? Hello. This is the Legal Hello? Health Center. Are you calling in regard to an injury matter? Uh, it, uh, yes. Okay. What kind of case are you calling in reference to? This lady just called here and said I wouldn't be working no more. I don't understand what she's talking about. Do you know Karen? I think you have the wrong number. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You have the wrong number. Do you know Karen? I do not. You have the wrong number. Uh, where are you at, sir? This is a law firm. Did you mean to call a law firm? Yes. Well, I've been what kind of case are you calling in reference to? Who the fuck is? Who do you want to speak with? I'm sorry, you dialed here? Were you looking for an attorney? Yes. What kind of case I, were you calling in reference to? I don't know what you're to? talking about. <laughs> okay, have a nice day. That's why you just called here and said I wasn't going to be working no more. I don't understand what she's talking about. <laughs> Uh, you know, I I would hang out with Curtis and Pat. They're a <laughs> fun couple, I bet. Yeah, I think so, too. I'd hang out and play Scrabble with them. Yeah. It's very uh, relaxing <laughs> vibe. Oh. But, you know, of course, you have the, uh, Pat, who has an anger problem. Or is it oh, Pat that's... It, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pat's the one screaming. <laughs> he keeps the, keeps things fiery in the relationship. Oh, fuck you know what I mean? <laughs> Goddamn, motherfucker. 
Keep mostly the heat on. Crack, I don't know nothing about what you're talking about. Yeah, anyway. Uh, I want to move on or call him back? Call back. Okay. There we go. Thank you for calling in for legal help. Someone will be with you in just a moment. This call may be recorded for quality okay. assurance. Thank you for calling the Legal Help Center. Are you calling in regards to an injury matter? Hello. Hello. And I don't know who the fuck you are, because you called it before several months ago. Who are you talking to? You can tell Karen, whoever the hell she is, she's crazy as hell. I believe you have the incorrect number. You have a wonderful rest of the day, and I hope you get help where you need to. Do you know Karen? I hope you get help when you need to, <laughs> or where. Where you need to. <laughs> well, quite, I don't think that was the same person. <laughs> was it? I don't think so. Uh, I thought it was. Was it? I don't know. Yeah, I, I couldn't know. tell. I just went with it. <laughs> I thought it was the same lady. Pat was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> That was a unique response we got <laughs> from her. <laughs> it's probably a, I, I would agree with that if I received that call. <laughs> That's a good line to use. <sighs> I call it about my extended warranty. I would let you seek help where you need to. They get out of the That's weird. Call it. All right, you want to move on? Got two more numbers. I think we can do this. Can we do this? Yes. All right, just two more numbers. I don't know. We really will have our first fastest fingered question, and then a phone a friend. And then I asked the audience, I'm doing ridges here, can you tell? <laughs> You're right and they're right for 15,000. Your fast first finger it's question. It's not, we're not hearing ringings. My beer is empty. Guy Miller, I'll leave a message. <laughs> At the tone, please record your message. Well, that was when you have cool. finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Honey, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you didn't eat that apple cake that I gave you because I realized Phyllis got some pus on it from her pustule. So do not eat it. That's all I was calling to tell you. Thanks. Love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just came to me. <clears throat> Uh, should we call that back? Yeah, you can try again. Ah. Ah. I did have a server at Denny's one time that had lesions that were weeping. Purpose. Reaching across our table. Yeah. Food. That was a not enjoyable meal. <laughs> Sounds gross. Guy Miller, I'll leave a message. Oh, hi, man. Yeah. Record your message. 
When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Well, false alarm. If you are satisfied with your message, <laughs> press 1 to listen to your message. Press 2 to erase and re-record. Message erased. At the tone, please re-record your message. At the end of your message, press 1. And, and she, she says, my dog's just licking his ball. Well, honey, it was a false alarm. That was someone else's apple. Heh, <laughs> they had the pus in it. So, just call them to let you know you can eat it. It's okay. Hey, that's a funny joke. <laughs> it's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> no. Ah. If you are satisfied with your message, press 1 to listen to your message. Press 2. Message review. And, and she, she says, my dog's just licking his ball. Well, honey, it was a false alarm. That was someone else's apple. Heh, <laughs> they had pus in it. Just call them to let you know you can eat it. It's okay. Hey, that's a funny joke. <laughs> that's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> no. If you are satisfied with your message, press 1 to listen to your message. Press 2 to send your message with normal delivery. Thank you. Your... Okay, well, this will be our last number ah, damn it. for the night. That's right. Before we do that, should we thank the patrons on Patreon? Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's not a good attitude about it. Son of a bitch. Well, now I'm messing with one. Kind of, I'm diddling a son of a bitch. Sounds kind of like Steve. Is that something he would do? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's thank the patrons on Patreon. Probably should have pulled this up ahead of time. Let's see here. There we go. Angry music man. Colin. Is that music too loud? Colin. God bless your soul. <laughs> it's very loud. Blue what? One, two, three. Adam. Redacted. Woo! Jimmy Soma. God bless you, baby. Donathan Longathan. I love you. Chrisington J. Wimberley. We'll have breakfast at Denny's. At last but not least. The worst player ever of Altered Beast. K B B B B B B B B B B B B B Seven. I mean God sorry. bless you, baby. I love you. What I meant to say was K K K B B B B Woo Okay. I thought you were gonna play the K B B B B B B B B B B B B B did you uh turn that down and up while it was playing or did it just happen to come through zoom that way <laughs> no i did that oh, okay hot mix <laughs> That was, uh, that, that blew my mind, man. <laughs> Thanks for supporting say? us. What? What can I say? <laughs> and, uh, if you want to support us, we got a Patreon, a PayPal. Helps pay the bills. 
And let's call the last number. Woo! For tonight. This is, uh... No, well, there's not a funny name to this, so I'm just gonna die out. Marty. Yes, this is Marty. Thank you for calling eHealth Medicare. Please note, eHealth Medicare is operated by eHealth Insurance Services, Inc., a licensed health insurance agency certified to sell Medicare products. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. To speak to an agent now, please press 7. I'm sorry, all customer service representatives are busy at the moment. A live customer service representative will be with you shortly. I'm sorry, all customer service representatives are busy at the moment. A live customer service representative will be with you shortly. We're sorry for the wait. We value oh. your business and we'll be with you as quickly as possible. I'm sorry, all customer service representatives are busy at the moment. A live customer service representative will be with you shortly. We apologize for the wait. We value your business and we'll be with you as quickly as possible. Thank you for calling you. Well, quality. Uh, may I have your first and last name, please? Hey, how was it? What's that? Big Ryan. Are you calling for, for e-health? You're goddamn right. May I have your first and last name? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, 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 the gas stuck on the floor of this automobile. Yes. Uh, call him back. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should have somebody else call him back. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I was enjoying that. I don't know if he's going to hang out with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn right. It seemed like he <laughs> took offense to that. Yeah. I got the impression. <laughs> Started off on the wrong foot. <laughs> I don't think he enjoyed that. <laughs> That's funny because it's like, is that the only yes that there is on that? No, there's more. <laughs> yeah, there's a, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, are you gonna call him back? I, I just like the way he says you're goddamn right. <laughs> goddamn right. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, like it. <laughs> <laughs> Used it in that the context that he's that enthusiastic about this <laughs> e health or whatever. This product. <laughs> All right. All right, let's call him back. Okay. Thank you for calling eHealth Medicare. Please note, eHealth Medicare is operated by eHealth Insurance Services, Inc., a licensed health insurance agency certified to sell Medicare products. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. To speak to an agent now, please press 7. Lucas Clark. I'm sorry, all customer service representatives are busy at the moment. Oh. A lot.
five customer service representatives will be with you shortly. I'm sorry, all customer service representatives are busy at the moment. A live customer service representative will be with you shortly. We're sorry for the wait. We value your business greatly and will be with you shortly. Oh, remember, it's been so long. Hey, I'm sorry, all customer service representatives are busy at the moment. A live customer service representative will be with you shortly. We apologize for the wait. We value your business greatly and will be with you shortly. He took 50 and put it aside for himself. And gave me some hundred, but he didn't give me the hundred. It was on the base that he gave the guy a promissory note. I'm sorry, all customer service rep. Hey, how was it? I ain't going that way. <sighs> uh, that was I was laughing that whole thing because <laughs> I was imagining them sitting there listening while we were on hold and just trying to figure <laughs> out what the fuck they were listening to <laughs> you know yeah you yeah, know somebody was <laughs> yeah and that's like why they were staying on I think was they were listening to that and trying to figure out what the fuck was going on <laughs> and then we had their curiosity so they didn't want to hang up for a long time there this would be the perfect time for them to call us back yeah hadn't had any of those tonight have we mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of odd we have been getting quite a few lately no 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 not right now <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's about it. Or do you think we should call him back? Nah, that's probably about it. Yeah. It's late. Well, thanks for listening, folks. Yeah. Love you a lot. If you like the show, get that Patreon. That PayPal. And, uh, sorry about these, uh, mouth noises that you're hearing. I don't know. I don't know that, but... <laughs> yeah, I think, I think he says it better than me. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got the... That, and then we got this, and, uh, what was it I was gonna play the... Uh... Oh yeah. Stranded them 34 style with Lance and Bill. Alright. Well, thanks for listening. Love you a lot. Anything you want to say, Mike? No. That's it. Love you a lot. For, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna fancy you. See you next week. Good night. Bye.
$2.49 what happened to my voice. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that was very loud. <laughs> that was very loud. <laughs>